What's up everyone? John V here from Phone Arena. Right now I have the Motorola Droid Cyborg 8.2. Been checking out this tablet recently and I'm just going to run a couple benchmark tests just to show you the kind of performance you're going to get out of this device. It features a dual core 1.2 GHz TI OMAP processor. It's coupled with 1 GB of RAM. As you can tell here with the static wallpaper, it's pretty pretty instantaneous with its uh, movements here. Though it's not the most fluid thing out there that we've seen on a honeycomb tablet. I can show you what the operation, its performance looks like with a live wallpaper activated just because it's a little bit more graphically intensive. Now this is not the most graphically intensive one out there, but it gives you a good representation of what to expect with this guy. So, still pretty smooth, both in portrait and landscape and also in portrait. We know that Android 3.2 Honeycomb addresses some of those laggy issues we see with portrait, but uh, you know, it's still fairly responsive, not the uh, most fluid thing we've seen out there, but hey, it's good enough to run most basic tasks, open up applications, uh, switch in between them fairly quick with its uh, operation. So let's get started, jump right in with the uh, Quadrant benchmark here, we, we already ran it, we're going to show you the results here, let's run it one, a couple times here, just see if we get a consistent score. Now this is a dual core uh, tablet, we know that there are quad core tablets out there in the horizon like the Asus Transformer Prime which of course with its quadrant scores blows out, blows out pretty much a lot of the other devices out of the uh, water here. So let's just see what the, uh, the uh, Droid Cyborg here is able to offer us. Now these graphical tests, looks like it's fairly smooth, 30 frames per second. Pretty typical of this type of processor that we've seen um, before here going to wait for all these tests to complete. Now it's worth noting that it looks like it has a customized uh, version of Honeycomb and t um, rather than a stock experience. You can tell with just the slight difference in uh, um, you know uh, the way the uh, icons are or displayed on the home screen. Even right here the uh, the uh, touch buttons right here on the uh, home on the uh, bottom left. So with the first score here running at 2770 with the quadrant so let's uh, run that a second time, see if we get a consistent score. So not the most mind-bending number right there, but it's decent. But of course, you have to uh, you know see see the performance of the tablet yourself to justify whether or not it's a fast or slow experience. Just because benchmark scores don't necessarily translate to real-world results here. So we'll wait for this to run a second time to complete, and then we'll uh, run these. We'll show you what we've ran already with the Antutu benchmark test secondly here. So you notice a little bit of jerkiness there. Um, this one running a little bit lower between 20 to 30 frames per second. So a little bit sl uh, choppiness. This one here pretty consistent at 60 frames per second from what we're looking at. And the final graphical test here a little bit below. It looks like it's fluctuating 25 to 30 frames per second. So let's see if we get something close to 2700. Yeah, 2766, so pretty much the same results. So not, you know, decent score, but not the fastest thing we've seen out there. And lastly, really quick, I'm just going to show you the Antutu benchmark test that we ran already. Show you the uh, overall results here. So you could tell here, with all the tests it ran, it gave it a final tally of 5539 with the Antutu benchmark test. And we put that in the score chart, you could tell where it lands up a little bit below the Samsung Galaxy S2, the Galaxy Nexus, and of course the Asus Transformer Prime with its quad-core processor just blows away everything, almost double, doubles the uh, results here. But nonetheless, you know, it's just uh, your feel of how the, the uh, tablet actually works. So if you'd like to learn more about the Motorola Zoom Zyborg 8.2, you can check out our website, phonearena.com.